Hey guys, so this is literally my third video that I've filmed today and I feel like I'm, I'm dying right now. It's just like so much makeup. But anyway, best way for me to get videos out to you twice a week like I've been trying to do for the last month and a half or so. Anyway, so right now I'm going to be doing a product empties video and I'm going to show you guys basically all of the products that I've been throwing into this bag for the last probably good six months or so and just let you know any of these products whether I will use them again or I will not use them again or I hate them or I love them. So if you're interested in seeing these products and what my opinions are on them, definitely keep watching. I am going to grab my giant bag. It's a big Victoria's Secret bag with a lot of crap in it. And yeah, so let's just start because this is going to take forever, honestly. First, I'll break something. I will mention this Batiste dry shampoo. This was literally in my last video. I think it'll be my last video. Yeah. I just mentioned this in my best of 2019 non makeup favorites. And this was the last one that I used. Use this baby up. I've gone through far too many of these guys. Far too many. Ooh, I don't have any more of these in here because I was using a lot of other dry shampoos. Oh my god. Next is this Olay Cleansing Infusion Hydrating Glow Body Wash. I really like this body wash. I've been using this for quite a while. It smells really, really good. It's Deep Sea Kelp is the scent, I believe. I am currently using this product. I do want to try something different after this because I'm trying to find something that's more like fragrance free and won't irritate my skin because I am breaking out on my chest. So I want to try something different after I'm done, but I also don't want to waste these. So I'm going to keep using them until I'm done. But really like this. If you're not, you know, a stickler when it comes to fragrances and your body wash products, give this a shot. You'll probably like it. Next, I'm going to mention this hair mask. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. I just finished this up recently. I liked this, but not as much as my deep conditioning mask from Briogeo. I mean, the smell's nice, but I don't know. It just, it was okay. I didn't feel like it really did anything to my hair that was different. Um, you know, the one thing I like about the Briogeo product is I feel like it really softens my hair, makes it feel really nice, and definitely makes it look a little more alive and well rather than you know, dead and damaged. So this, I don't feel like it really did anything, but yeah. Next is a skincare product. And I'm literally going completely out of order, by the way, right now. I'm just trying to get through everything, not organize at all. Sorry, I'm just kind of pulling everything out. But anyway, this is the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I really enjoyed this product while it lasted. You know, it's really upsetting when Drunk Elephant Serums are done because I love Drunk Elephant. It's so expensive. Would I repurchase this product? Absolutely. This product is really good though if you're looking for something to deeply hydrate your skin but not overdo it. If you have combination skin, this is a great product for you. You could even use this as your moisturizer. I would definitely repurchase this product just to use alone, but I haven't done so just because it hasn't been on my list of like necessities recently. But very good. Really love this serum and it does last you a long time. So another Drunk Elephant product that I went through, I did mention this in my favorites as well. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Firm Booze Glycolic Night Serum. This is completely empty. There's nothing else coming out of this. Nothing else. Nope. Nothing. And I love this serum. I don't think I'll ever stop using this serum. It's so expensive, but it's so worth it. If you have textured skin and you were trying to untexturize it. You gotta get this. This is so good for that. And also I think it honestly does help too with acne. I mean I haven't seen a drastic difference since I started using it but then again there are so many other factors that go into acne. It's like what you eat, moisturizer, cleanser, exfoliating, all kinds of stuff. So I really love this for retexturizing anyway. Great product, very expensive but still really good. Already repurchased it. I'm on my second bottle, so. I've got some makeup wipes, makeup removing wipes. This is from Cetaphil. These are the gentle makeup removing wipes. These were okay. I do think that they are gentle and they do 
work for what I need them for. I don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup on my skin unless I'm just using it for like, say, to clean up like my eyeshadow or something like that. I don't use these to take all my makeup off because I find that I just break out and also like I think it like clogs my pores and stuff like that. So I don't do that. I just I just don't. I like using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. But these are still good makeup wipes. I am currently using another one in my bathroom. Like I kind of have all different ones. But I have to say I like these better. These remove like I use it if I'm like say swatching products on my hand or something like that. I use the, the wipes to take that off and I hate when there's like a little excess left on there and it feels weird. I don't know, like for instance, I can't use the Neutrogena cleansing wipes because they always irritate my skin, always. I had to find something that was a little gentler on my skin, even like just on my hands, like I needed something gentle. So I found these and really like these. So I have been using them. I do have a full size one here. So I have been repurchasing these. I do really like them. I keep them on my desk and yeah. So Next is this Kate Somerville Exfolicate Extensive Exfoliating Treatment. So this is supposed to be like one of those like Hollywood facial secrets that you put all over your skin, leave it on for two minutes and then all of a sudden you look like a celebrity. You got celebrity skin. No, you don't. You don't. Is it good? Yes. Do I think it's worth the price? Hell no. I did not actually buy this specifically. I got it in a FabFitFun box a while back, and I've been using it for a really long time. It's very harsh. So, like, if your skin can't handle this kind of product, don't buy it. Plus, I'm pretty sure that this exact same amount, the 1.7 fluid ounces, I think it's, like, $80, if not more. So I just, I don't feel like it's a necessity to buy something like this when they're perfectly good exfoliators for cheaper prices. I just put the Ula Henriksen sauna scrub, I think it's called, in my last video. And I love that. And it's, I think it's like 20, 30, maybe a little over $30, something like that. It, and I, I think it's better than this. So I, I don't know. That's just me. I know some people love that and they love Kate Somerville. But I did use it up because I'm a stickler about using up my products. <laughs> Speaking of Ula Henriksen, here's one of the products. This is the Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. This was a really good product during the summertime for me to use. It's also like, I would say it's just a good cleanser to use at night sometimes just to kind of help clear my skin. And the only thing about it is like the whole oil control part drives me a little nuts because I don't, I'm not that oily. So like the one thing that's so difficult I find is someone who has like a normal to combination skin but also breaks out a lot and is very blemish prone. That's my skin in a nutshell. And it's so hard for me to find products that work for both the kind of like normal to combination slash acne prone. I feel like everything is like oily, acne, oily, acne, oily, acne. And I'm like, no, I'm not really oily. But I don't feel like this product is geared specifically to someone with oily skin, even though it says it is. I think you can use this if you have normal to combination skin too. Does it dry you out? No, never really dry, dried out my skin. I didn't see a huge, huge difference in my skin afterwards. I like the toner a lot better, but I feel like maybe if you use these together, maybe you'd find it to be more effective, possibly. I don't know. I didn't hate this. I didn't think it was amazing, but I, I didn't dislike it. I, I, I still think it's a good cleanser. It's just not my favorite cleanser. So. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser. I'd repurchase this in a heartbeat. I just haven't done so yet because I have another co-wash that I've been using. So if you don't know what a co-wash is, so basically it's like you have to wash your hair more often than the average person because say you have a very like athletic life and you're constantly like getting an oily scalp and you really have to wash but you don't want to weigh it down too much and all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Well, a co-wash is really good for that because it's a very lightweight type cleanser for your hair. So it allows you to really clean your hair. So basically, I bought this to use and I love this. This is amazing. This literally, like, it's like you are shampooing and conditioning your hair whenever I use this. Like, I I didn't go through this really quickly because I don't 
oftentimes like have to wash my hair every day or anything like that. It's just like rare instances when all of a sudden like I was outside all day long and I know my hair smells so I washed it last night but I have to wash it again otherwise it's going to smell and be all stinky the next day. So that's when I would use this product so I didn't have to use it that often. I've had it for a long time and I was so upset when I went through it because number one it smells good. And it really smooths out my hair. So it, it just, it feels so nice. My hair feels so clean. I'm still able to like style and do whatever I want with it afterwards. I really love this product. I've been using it, the Briogeo one recently, and I have to say, I like this one more. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this, especially since it's cheaper, after I'm done with the Briogeo one. This is the Verb Gentle Cleanse and Style Extender and Light Volume Dry Shampoo for Dark Hair. This was okay. I would say it's better than other dry shampoos I've tried, but not as good as my Batiste dry shampoo. This is absolutely my favorite. Every time I try and run away from that guy, just like I have to run right back into his arms. It's just it's too good. This one, on the other hand, it didn't do amazing things for my hair. It was okay. It really was. It was just okay. I got these like buy one, get one free off of Verb's website one time, and I just... I don't know, I like a lot of Verb products, but this is not really one I would say that's amazing. Would I repurchase it if I had to? Sure, and use it, okay. But it, it I don't think it like worked wonders on my hair, so. This is another body wash, which I don't know where to find this. I have to figure it out. I think maybe Target sells it. This is a raw sugar Simply Body Wash. It is for sensitive skin, made from a natural coconut and plant-based Blend for pure skin nutrition, green tea, cucumber, and aloe vera is like the scent, I guess. No sulfates, no phthalates, no dyes, no parabens. I loved using this. This stuff is amazing. I bought this, I think, from Walgreens and couldn't find it there the next... No, I bought it from Dwayne Reed. That's what it was. And I don't have a Dwayne Reed near me. So it really bothered me that I couldn't find this again. But it's so good, guys. I am obsessed with this body wash. It smells so amazing. It's so soothing. It really is good for sensitive skin, too, by the way. I love this. I may have to go back to this because this could be what's irritating my chest, possibly. And I keep using it constantly. So maybe I should rethink that before I go back and use the rest of my product. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. Very, you know, like natural looking and nice. I mean, it is called Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. So I don't know. And it does have 25 fluid ounces in it. And this one has 22. I would 100% repurchase this. Just haven't done so. Next is this Ulta Beauty Lilac Breeze Exfoliating Body Scrub. I really liked this. I tried a few different body scrub scrubs. <laughs> scrubs recently this obviously being one of them the one I'm using in my shower right now is from Monica Dar, I think and I got it in a bad fit fun box a while back I don't really like it it's like a charcoal body scrub it's irritating but I'm a weirdo who has to use up everything who that still bothers my skin but I keep going for it why I don't know I'm just like stupid but anyway I loved this when I was using it it smells so good God, that's amazing. But it's totally not fragrance-free. I really am trying to use products that are more clean and better for my skin, better for my body overall. This obviously, it worked for my skin, but it, it's not like the cleanest product. Like you can smell that it's like a fake fragrance scent. And I'm just trying not to do that because I think that's what irritates my skin. So... It's still good. It still smells amazing. It's cheap. It's from Ulta, so it's not an expensive item. And if you are not sensitive to fragrances, then this might work for you. Um, but for me, I personally would want to buy something different. It's just, it's very good. But I'm, I'm looking for something different. I know that's confusing, but I'm, it's still good. So we've got the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I love this. I have not repurchased this yet because I'm waiting to like buy the entire package because I'm really trying to get this along with the conditioner, the scalp massager, and also the oil because I do get a dry scalp and it's a little itchy sometimes, a little itchy. So I do like using this, but it's very good. It's a very strong smell. So if you don't like strong smells, you may not, you may be sensitive to this, but it works really well. I just take this and I put it 
on my scalp and really rub it in and it does a great job at getting rid of like dandruff if you have it it really helps with like an itchy scalp it's a great product i love briogeo products they just don't ever fail me this is the, also the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I talked about the honey version of this in my last video. This is amazing. I'm obsessed with this mask. It does wonders for your hair. This one doesn't smell as good anymore. It's been here for a while. But I love this. Like I said, I'm using the honey version right now, but I have gone through other tubs of this in the past too. It's such a great product. It really does do what it says it does, deep condition. It does an amazing job at doing that to your hair. I've never had a problem with this. Never irritates my scalp or anything like that. It's a perfect, amazing, amazing product. This is the Way Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. I got this in a Fat Fit Fun box as well. I wouldn't say this was like my favorite product in the whole world or anything. It smells nice, but I don't know. It's it's nothing special. I've used a bunch of different like leave-in conditioners and detanglers before, and I've liked other ones in the past better than this one. It's okay. It did what it was supposed to do. It did like condition my hair. It did detangle my hair, which was nice. If I had another one, I would totally go through it. Sure, why not? But I wouldn't personally just go out and buy this product again. I feel like I'd want to try something else. An actual makeup product, guys happened. I got a makeup product in here. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. Yeah, with a mouthful. This, I, I used to use this every single day. I wanted that illuminating effect constantly. And I still do, but I have to say this isn't something that I'd repurchase now. Um, I just recently decided to like mix it in with some of my products because I wanted to get rid of it and not waste the rest of it, but it's okay. It, it's nothing amazing. I personally like the um, full coverage moisturizer, I think they call it, from It Cosmetics more than I like this, but it does illuminate. I could tell you that it's sometimes a little too much though. I would mix this in with something. I wouldn't use it alone. It's okay. It's okay. This product here is the Tatcha The Essence. Holy hell, this was an expensive product. What forced me to buy this in the first place without even like testing it in store beats me i don't know i spent 95 dollars on this it's water and sure i mean like they say that essences are supposed to like be the foundation for the rest of your products it's supposed to make everything work better afterwards did it? I don't think so. But it, like I've like dipped it on my hand, mixed it all together, and I went like this. I was like, it's water. I use an essence now too, but it's like a hydrating one that makes my skin feel nice and moisturized and great after I'm done with it. <laughs> this didn't make my skin feel that way. I felt like this is literally water. It's just water. But I love Tatcha. I do. Tatcha is like one of my favorite skincare brands. I love their primer. I love their moisturizers. I, I love their cleanser. I, I just, this, I didn't see the point in spending $95 on water. Sorry. I hated this. What possessed me to buy this product? I don't know. This is the Borghese Advanced Fango. What, what is a Fango? Fango Active Mud for Face and Body. First off, I would never put this on my body. I didn't even fully finish this. This was terrible. I hated this. I went to a Lord & Taylor once because I had a gift card and I wanted to buy something and the girl at the desk told me, this is great for acne, this is amazing. And I'm like, oh really? She goes, yeah, everyone in the department uses it. You should buy it. I'm like, oh really? How much is it? And she was like, it's not that expensive either. It's only $58. And my face was like, I'm sorry. In what world is $58 for a mask cheap? I didn't think that this was worth $58 at all. I mean, I'm glad I spent a gift card on it, but at the same time, I'm not, because I could have gotten something better with that money, but at least I didn't spend my own money on it. I put this on my skin, wait five minutes, take it off. This didn't do anything. 
it's did nothing. This is like one of those like gimmick products that it just doesn't do something. It's just because it's it's Borghese. It's Borghese. So it's supposed to be like amazing because it's high end and luxury and whatever. This is a terrible product. Next product. <laughs> this is the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clearing Wash. I used to use this in the shower. So it has 2% salicylic acid. It's dye-free, alcohol-free, medicated cleanser with allantoin. Allantoin? I don't even know what that is. And pro-vitamin B5 for the prevention and treatment of acne. I, I don't think this did that much. I used it in the shower all the time on my face. I would occasionally use it on my chest, but I don't remember. I don't think my chest acne was that bad back then because I don't think I was using this Olay wash. I think that's the reason why I'm breaking out though now. But anyway, let's get stop getting off topic. Otherwise, I'm never going to finish this video. But um, it was okay. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. It was okay. This is the Caudalie Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum for combination to oily skin. I actually liked this. This was a good serum. I stopped using this for what reason? I don't know. Just because I ran out of it, I think. And I was trying different things at the time. Oh, I wanted to start trying vitamin C serums in the early morning instead of using salicylic acid in the morning and then AHAs and BHAs at night. I feel like it, I get so confused with ingredients and stuff like that from skincare. It's just like too much going on in my brain at one time. But I did really like this serum. I feel like it really smoothed out my pores. That was one thing I liked about this. Ooh, it's making me want to buy this again. I would repurchase it if I wasn't using something else from Drunk Elephant at the moment that I really do like and I feel like I can't live without. But this is a nice serum. It is a very nice serum. I've got a couple of Victoria's Secret perfumes here that I used up. These were actually really good. This is the Bombshell Seduction. This is the Bombshell. And that's it. But I really liked these. Obviously, I used them up entirely. Oh yeah, that smells very florally, the Bombshell. And that's like a sexy floral. That's why they call it Seduction, I guess. I love these. These are really good perfumes and they were dirt cheap when I bought them. I always get Victoria's Secret perfumes when they have their semi-annual sales and they're like $12 a piece. So I got these, like, two of them for 25 bucks, and I was like, hey, okay, that's awesome. And I used them up entirely, which obviously means I like them. So they are really good. I would repurchase them, but I have so many other perfumes right now, so I'm trying to use up what I got because it's getting a little cluttered over there in my perfume section. So I don't want to keep getting more because it's just, it becomes, like, a little excessive after a while. Obviously, look how much makeup I have. This is the... Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. Why you need to write cream, moisturizer, hydrating cloud, all this stuff in the same exact, like, name of the product. I don't know. But this is a really good moisturizer. I would say more in the summertime than the wintertime. I use this a lot. I, I've had the full size of this, but I got this sample size in an Allure Beauty box. This is really good if you want to hydrate your skin at night, but you don't want to overdo it. You can even use it during the day, but I feel like I need something a little more mattifying in the summertime. This is good, but I would not use this in the winter. I recently tried it, obviously, in the winter. And <laughs> Then here I have the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face Mask with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. This is an amazing mask. I talked about this in my last video, so you guys already know about this. It's amazing. It really calms down my skin, calms down any redness, it calms down the acne. It's, it's good. It's good. I love it. This is the Bailiff Hungarian Water Essence. So I have used this multiple times within like the last five years because I always get these samples. I feel like this is like the most popular sample to get from like anywhere, but this is really good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite essence in the world. It's kind of similar to this. It's like kind of a bit water-like, but this is a little more gel-like. I wouldn't buy this. I don't know. After using my Meiku bra sauce, I feel like that's the best thing ever. It's just amazing. It really hydrates my skin. This, like I said, just like throw some water on your face. And it's the same thing. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. I mean, maybe there's something I'm not understanding about it. So if you do know what the secret is with this stuff and if there's really a secret, let me know in the comments below because I'm confused. But anyway, then here I have this Pharmacy Do-It-All Eye Cream. I got through this whole entire thing. Yep. Doesn't smell like anything. I got through the entire thing, which was shocking to me. I feel like I never get through anything. Obviously not. But anyway, I did enjoy this. I do like the You to the People Eye Cream more, though. This still is as hydrating, 
but it doesn't sink into the skin like my You To The People one does. Still loved it, but oh, the You To The People one, it just, oh, it makes my under eyes look heavenly. And this was not quite there. I got through a couple of these guys. Oh, this is different. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. But their packaging is exactly the same. I would not say these are like the best things ever. I kind of just used them up because I had them. And I always got them as samples and stuff like that. But they're okay. I don't ever set my face with this or prime my face with this. I did it for a little bit and I was like, mm. I don't even know what to tell you about this that I don't really like. It's just like the scent of it and the feel of it just does not, just not agree with me. Last two skincare products and then I'm on to my very minimal amount of makeup empties. So this is the Curology Clean Sweep Cleanser. I hated this. I hated this. I'm sorry. People who have acne prone skin say they love this line and it's like, change their life. I hated this cleanser. I hated it. It was so thin. It felt like I was washing my face with water. That just made no sense to me. I mean, foam cleanser, I get it. Gel cleanser, get it. Like a thicker one, I guess. I don't know. Milk cleanser, I get it. This, they say it's a gel cleanser, but it's not. It's like, it's water. It really is. It's like water with a little bit of gel. You know, I did not like this and I would try and use this like with my Foreo and my Foreo would, <laughs> I would put it on the Foreo, wet it, put it on my skin and nothing would happen. And it'd be like, start getting like, like drag on my skin. I'd be like, okay, this is hurting now. This is water. It's water. This is the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I got this as a sample, just like the Truth Serum. I actually really liked this. This was a good daytime cleanser. I would definitely not use this at night, though. I feel like it's definitely not hydrating enough for me. And it does brighten. It does. But I don't know. I wouldn't say this is, like, one of the best creams I've ever used. It was okay. It was nothing special, though. Nothing that really stood out to me. Like I said, it does hydrate, but not a ton. This was okay. It was all right. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is a good concealer. I was not expecting this when I purchased this concealer. I have it in another shade. It is a little bit too dark for me. This isn't light cool. This works better for me, but whatever. I think it's only $9, so it's not that expensive. But I really enjoy this one. I have to say, this is, as it's not full, full coverage, like shape tape, but it's just like right below that, you know, where it's it's not as good, but it's still good. So I do enjoy this, especially for a cheaper option. I think that it's a really good concealer. Then I have this Catrice Cosmetics Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is so good. This is an OTO Medium. Um, they don't sell these at Ulta anymore all of a sudden. Like, what happened, Ulta? Why? Why would you get rid of this? This is rated so poorly on Ulta's website. It's only like three stars. And it's amazing. I love this brow pencil. I feel like it's so creamy, but it's at the same time, it, it doesn't like overdo it, you know? It makes your, your lashes, it makes your brows look really nice and natural. And that's what I always look for with brows. I just want a natural, natural, you know? Well, these are the LA Girl Pro Powders, HD High Definition Setting Powders in the shade Banana Yellow. How I went through two of these, not because I loved them, because <sighs> I've changed my mind about too many things over the past year. Earlier this year, I loved these. I thought these were the most amazing powders ever. And because they give you such a little product, I bought two of them at once when I went to Ulta to pick them up. I didn't really care for these. Like, in the beginning, I loved them. I thought they were amazing. And then after a while, I was like, this is like splotchy on the face. It doesn't look so good. It doesn't smooth anything out. It just kind of looks like it's there. It doesn't do anything. I didn't really care for them, but I went through them because I was like, I'm going to use them up. I don't want to waste them. I'm going to use them up. This one is the Pretty, whoa, Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Mad About It Translucent Setting Powder. This setting powder is amazing. I think I mentioned this in my, yeah, you, I mentioned this in my Best of Beauty Makeup Favorites of 2019. I went through, I think this is my second one already, and I love this. I am on my third container of this right now. I am obsessed with this powder. It is so good. The shade of it, even though it's translucent, translucent, 
it is honestly like the perfect translucent shade. It really blurs out pores and makes your skin look so flawless and so nice. So anyway guys, those are all of my empties for the last few months. I've gotten through quite a bit of body products and hair products and skincare as you guys can see, but not a lot of makeup. And that's just because it's hard for me to go through makeup because I use so, much, so many different products. But, you know, it is what it is. I've got a lot of stuff to use and I try and try out a bunch of different things for you guys on the tube and also just for myself because I like trying different things out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of these product empty um, videos going forward. I know some people like it, some people hate it. I don't know. But let me know. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.